Oh, that's okay. perfect. And you already can actually make everything. Okay, here we go. <laughs>
They call me and said, I need to go check the lip. Oh. Oh. He said, I need to oh, go to the end. We need to swing by to check the lip. And I, we all you know, always come with him. We thought someone they call like a door is open. She's not locked. That's why I was okay. <laughs>
I was kid matters, me, Leon. I was so Congratulations, Alice, and thank you for everything that you've done for me. <laughs> for our uh, Deaf and Hard and I remember one time you left Clayton County, and you came, you told me, said, we're so offense than the other school. <laughs> thank you so much. I'm going to come up behind her because like this thing. <laughs> See? <laughs> That's Alice. Um, because it's, she made the way easier for me. I can say ditto, 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 ditto. <laughs> what she said. I am too. I met this dear person in Clayton County. And um I believe I was already a part of shortly thereafter, maybe some years later, I became um, affiliated with Georgia Pines, and Alice was always like my go-to person, <laughs> helping me, showing me, modeling things that I should do, and helping me to get more familiar with the um, job. Alice is the epitome of professional, um, being professional, loving, humanity, just doing what she's supposed to do, you know, as a God-centered person. And um, she just puts so much care and love into, you know, what she, what she does and what she says she's going to do. So, Alice, you have set the pace. You have uh, shown us, you know, what we need to continue to do and how to do it. And I know your family, your husband, they're big, big smiles because you have had so many years uh, working your, through your passion, you know? So no wonder you have grown. You know, you've grown and you're, you're there now because if you work in your area of passion, you're gonna do, always put forth your best. And I truly believe that's what you have done. So enjoy life. <laughs> I remember her that we were in Lay City, and she was an SLP, and we shared some students. Uh, my deaf college students were served, were served by her, and I still remember your room very, very clearly. That little room, remember? <laughs> and we sat there and talking about kids. Yeah, it was a really fun memory. Oh, and I took sign language from you. Yeah. <laughs> and I was um, just getting into the county. I believe. Yeah, some history. Hello, good afternoon. My name is Lynette Barnard, and I have been working with Georgia Pines for a while. Um, and um, I just want to say that I could not, I was telling Alice, I could not not be here and support her. I don't get to see many of you because I'm, I don't go to some of the trainings, but um, it's just a pleasure to see you all. And I see your names and I, and I know some of you by paper and some by faces, but I could not not come here and support Alice. She's been wonderful with my time to Georgia Pines, uh, always showing the example of love for the families and when I joined Georgia Pines, some of the uh, participants or the workers, they would say how wonderful it was when I first started and saying how much I was going to love the families and that I was not going to feel like I could separate from them. And I did not believe it, but I will tell you, I love working with Georgia Pines. I'm going to miss Alice. And uh, they did let me come this summer, and I felt like I had been knowing you all, you all all that time. I came for two days, and I thank y'all for letting me come. But it was such a wonderful experience to be in that group with all of you again. So I thank you, Alice, for your leadership, for your kindness, and just for your beauty. Because sometimes I would run in and turn my paperwork in the same day, and Alice would let me talk to her for a few minutes, and then I would walk back to my job at the Camp County. But I've always felt like 
working with you all at Georgia Pines has always been a safe place that I, that I will always cherish for the rest of my life. And I thank you, Alice, for your leadership. in the summer. So one time I have to go to do an um, IEP, meet, IEP meeting and walk up that uh, Decat County Diagnostic Center and I, came, I brought my kids with me in the car and back up and hit the uh, trash trash post and be in my car. And Carmen, remember, I came back to Carmen to take in my car a little bit, but I walk in, yeah, I walk in and you know that place, they block you, you won't get in a small little waiting room, so I told them, I know leper, oh, I know the diagnostic center person, and so they not, they ask you to come out, remember, and say, wait to me, so, and they were very friendly to us after that. Yes, yes. You remember? Yes, I do. Can I, I say something? Okay, be prepared for the accent later. We have a lot of <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Uh, I am entering my 14th year with the Department of Education of Georgia Pines, specifically. Wow. So, uh, when I, at the beginning I was an interpreter. And I worked with Alice. So one day, we were entering a home and suddenly we were talking about and said, can you imagine a Chinese lady and a Spaniard representing the state of Georgia into a home? <laughs> that is fun. That is fun. <laughs> and the other thing is that I used to call with the baby language, I used to call it basic Chinese. And when I started working with that, I say, oh gosh. That is, you know, it's not very kind and it's bad manners to say basic Chinese, but they watch the baby. Well, from now on, every time that I define the jagger or whatever, it's going to be basic Chinese for this part. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
on, you know, and she said, well, why don't you really come in? You just have to work for 18 months or two years, and, and that's all, and we'll have a lot of fun. And we did have a lot of fun. But, you know, the whole conversation, so okay, well, I'll, so I'll think about it. And then, so she starts on the whole sales pitch again, you know. <laughs> and, then, and so I said, okay, Alice, I really don't think I can do this, but okay. And so she hits a sales pitch again. So we get to the restaurant before we finally hang up. And so we said, okay, Alice, I'll talk to you later. And, and I turned to the people that were in the car with us and said, next time we talk to you, you're going to be in Atlanta working, aren't you? <laughs> So she's sneaky like that. <laughs> but you know, I wouldn't have done it if it hadn't been for her. Yes. You know, not all of us would, a lot of us would not be doing what we're doing if we weren't doing it for her. Because of her dedication and her love for the kids. And you know that she's got your back more than anything. She has had our back all these years. And so. Now, if we could just help your back, we would be much happier. <laughs> but I hope that they can, that got you fixed and that you can enjoy your retirement. Yeah. You're a blessing for all of us. so well. Her personality is such that she likes to get everything done quickly, you know, and I ask her to be patient, move slowly, you know, just wait, let's take it a step at a time, but you know, Alice, she's patient with me while we're there, yes, so we really do work well together, even though she has that personality, right, Alice? And she really has a heart for children. She would do anything to change things for the better for children. With the deaf mentors, we have grown so much because of your support, your enthusiasm, your belief in the deaf mentors, and how we benefit so many families. I'm going to miss you. I've worked with Georgia Pines for 20 years. This is my second boss. And that's all I can say. I want to apologize for to the dead mentors because Carmen has been reminding me, said, your facial expression, your facial expression looks you so hurry, hurry, hurry. And then sometimes they can miss interpreter you. So I said, well, they know my heart. I'm so sorry. So sometimes I do show I'm, you know, too eager and we're um, eager to do things. So yeah, I will remember that. <laughs> God always wants to, wants to remind me for that. But I think they know me now, so they don't, they don't mind. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Shanika um, May Smith, and uh, I serve as the administrative assistant to the coordinators of Sky High and Insight. Um, Alice, we've been knowing each other, I would say almost, what, four years now? I uh, came into DOE working for Atlanta Area School for the Deaf back in 2015 um, and then made a transition. Um, and. Alice just welcomed me um, and embraced me with loving arms, um, you know, despite of any circumstances that I may have had prior to coming on with Georgia Pines. But um, I love Georgia Pines. When I say she is definitely the epitome 
of true leadership, she truly is. You know, and I love you for that. <laughs> um, but yes, I want to wish you, you know, the best. Uh, never be a stranger, please. Come and visit us. Um, and we love you. Um, one of the things that I don't know if a lot of people know about Alice is that she has just been amazing in helping Georgia Pines by building relationships with a lot of people. Um, a lot of people at AASD, a lot of people at the DOE, um, just a lot of people that has been able to put Georgia Pines where we are and keep us going and get us back to serving people weekly, serving families weekly. Um, Kit reminded me, this girl is the queen of taking cookies and food <laughs> to from people. Sweet <laughs> from Sweet Hut. Uh, to people to butter them up so she can get whatever she wants from <laughs> <laughs> So, take cookies, they would be nice to you. <laughs> <laughs> so, she, she really has uh, um, built some bridges for us and, and done some really good things with building relationships that have really, that has really kept Georgia Pines going and made us a stronger program. Um, her energy is incredible. Um, her enthusiasm, she's, um, like Carmen said, sometimes she's really hard to keep up with. Half the time we're like, where, where, is, she, where is she now? Because <laughs> she just, she's there and then she's gone. Um, but she's, she's gonna be, we're gonna miss you, Alice. We're gonna miss you, we're gonna miss her. Her leadership, her enthusiasm, and her, her passion for Georgia Pines and her passion for families. Thank you for what you've done. Okay, so I know there's a lot of people out here that really want to taste the tarot cake. So I'm going to be very fast and say hey, thank you for your faith in me. Thank you for bringing me on board. And I will do everything in my power to live up to that. So I'm so happy because I would not be this happy 
if I have not known we have a good person coming up to take this job. So I just want to thank Heidi. You know, she sacrificed a lot to come to Georgia Pines, pay-wise. And then also the work. And I think she thought, oh, come here. I thought, a lot of work. Weekends. <laughs> and later on, you have to travel all over the state. I mean, so we are very, very lucky to have Dr. Heidi Evans. So I want to give this opportunity to give her applause. Yeah.